A PR expert has suggested that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex parting ways with Spotify is merely a bump in the road for the couple. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are parting ways with Spotify after just one series of Meghan Markle's dozen episode podcast, Archetypes. The decision was reportedly a mutual one between the couple and Spotify, with both parties stating that they were proud of the series we made together. Speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk, PR guru Anna Grace Dunoyer has suggested that the news isn't an issue for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as they could have more contracts on the way, Ms. Dunoyer told Express.co.uk. When viewed within the larger framework of their multiple commercial endeavors, including a substantial deal with Netflix and Harry's contract with Penguin Books, this recent development seems less a major setback and more a bump in the road. She also pointed out that the dismissal could also be a redirection for the couple, rather than be seen as a complete withdrawal. She said, it is noteworthy that the couple's representatives have mentioned the development of more content for the archetype's audience on another platform, suggesting an agile pivot rather than a withdrawal from the podcasting realm. Speaking of the success of the series, she added that it demonstrated Meghan and Harry's ability to engage a global audience, bridging the gap between celebrity culture and meaningful discourse on societal issues. Ms. Dunoyer also suggested that the termination of the contract could also be a redirection for Spotify and other podcasting companies. She added, it suggests that the platform is reconsidering its investment in star-led projects. This could potentially signal a shift in the podcasting industry. The emphasis may move away from celebrity-led content towards an increased focus on quality of content and the unique value it offers to listeners. Megan launched Archetypes last year and featured a host of the episodes, which were released weekly, showed Meghan and her guest discussing the history of stereotypes that affect women. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also still have deals with Netflix and Penguin Random House.